hi students see we have learned in the second chapter we have learned about different types of indicators and how we are using them to identify the uh, nature of substances acidic or basic isn't it in such indicators natural indicators are there artificial indicators are there natural indicators example litmus turmeric red cabbage extract these are all the example and in the case of synthetic indicators phenolphthalein and methyl orange are the main example see using these indicators we can identify whether the substance is acid or base but we do not know what is the strength of these acid and base so for that in 1909 sorensen he is a chemist he actually derived a scale that scale is ph scale and it is based on the strength of or it is based on the concentration of hydrogen ion present in the solution as you know in acidic and basic solution h plus ion is there but it varies from one solution to another solution so as per the amount of or concentration of h plus ion present in the substances he derived a scale and it is the ph scale now what is mean by ph it is potency of hydrogen ion power of hydrogen ion so ph range is from 0 to 14 the seven value is neutral solution then below seven is acidic solution above 7 is basic solution okay so ph is actually defined as the negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration if hydrogen ion concentration is more then the ph value will be less if hydrogen ion concentration is very less then the ph value will be very high so that is the relationship between the hydrogen ion concentration and ph value okay students so now we will check the ph of various solution here i have taken six solution dilute hcl solution dilute naoh solution sodium hydroxide solution ethanoic acid acetic acid then instead of lemon juice i have taken here orange juice then water and sodium bicarbonate solution so these are the solution which needed then here we have ph solution which will uh, be which will be using to identify the nature of the substances and here ph paper is available so six strips of paper is also taken and it is marked as 1 2 3 4 5 6 now using this dropper we will add the solution we will add the solution uh, one by one to the ph paper okay let us see first one dilute hcl solution add some drops to the ph paper can you see the color students it turns to dark pink color okay then next one is dilute naoh solution so take some drops of dilute naoh solution and add that drops to the ph paper so what is the color that you observed it is dark blue color isn't it now next one acetic acid solution or ethanoic acid solution that we have to add into another ph paper strip of ph paper please observe the color change students yes okay students so next solution is so orange juice that too we can take then check the color yes next one is water so take some drops of water and add that to the stew and you have to take care uh, the dropper should be clean properly otherwise you will get the color of the previous solution so it is actually pale green color okay next one is sodium bicarbonate solution nahco3 yes that is also blue in color this is the color that we got when we checked with the ph paper okay students is it clear now using this color code and the ph scale 
we can identify the pH value of various solution. If it is 7, it is neutral. Below 7, it is acid. Above 7 is base. Then 0, 1, 2 and all, they are all strong acid. Then 5, 6, near to 7 and all, it is weak base, weak acid. Then above 7, 8, 9, 9.5, 10, they are all weak base. Then 11, 12, 13, 14, they are all strong base. Okay, so as per the value and color, we can get the approximate value of various solution. Is it clear? Okay, students, so far we have uh, done our experiment using the pH paper. Now we will do the same experiment with pH solution, universal indicator solution. Okay, this is actually a mixture of very uh, many other chemicals, many colored substances. You, so you will get a various colors and as per the colors and the pH scale, we can identify the strength of acidic or basic solution okay so using this solution we can identify the nature of the substances so take some drops of universal indicator and add this to dilute hcl solution first see what is the color it turns to dark pink color isn't it yes Next one, dilute NaOH solution, add some drops and see the color. What is the color students? Just find, uh, note down your, these colors in your book. Then third solution is acetic acid solution. Yes, it turns to orange red color, isn't it? Yes. And Next solution is orange juice solution and see, see the color, then water, to the water we are adding, see it turns to green color. So green color indicates the solution is neutral and finally sodium bicarbonate solution, yes. Now, you got many colors and as per this color, we can classify the solution into different strong, weak, strong acid, strong, uh, strong base, weak acid, weak base. Okay. See, it is like a, uh, what is that, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red, that is the one. From pH 14 to 0, in that area, it is violet, pH 14 is violet. Then near to zero and all it is red color. So with geo, it's like with geo. So green is represents the neutral solution. Okay. So what is this nature of this dilute HCl? It is acidic. Then then we got a blue color solution. It is basic solution, strong base. Then orange red ethanoic acid. It is also acid. Then yellow yellowish orange color, yellow color. So that is also an acid and this green solution indicates what neutral solution and this blue color, dark blue and co color is also indicate which one basic solution. So these are the color and as per the pH color code and the pH value, we can note down the approximate value. Okay. Thank you.